just what we needed. There's so many of these things. 60 year anniversary. Coming at you from the dark condo land layer. Get some new cord. Check it out. Red, white, and blue. This is made in Vietnam. I was in Nam. This is uh, 220. Not 220. Freaking 12, 300 footer. And that's a 50 footer south wire. Awesome. Because we need that. Because when oh good, I came in here. My battery's still on the cooker. Yeah, we needed that because uh, we got more over there. We're gonna probably have power outages soon. Let's leave that. Remember, take the car off charger. Remind me. Because uh, this place sucks. We're going to lose power again. This I found in a car years ago. It was abandoned. And that was there and I repaired it. But I think we're going to sell it without the end. Because that's not worth shit for a Chinese cord. Probably get 10 bucks with another extension cord. But I got to go. I don't want it. Uh, what's this is deal? Why is the refresh rate blinking on my screen hopefully it's not doing it on the video I hope not unless this camera is just messed up if it doesn't in the video we'll fix it but yeah I think transfer switch is very easy usually you have a main breaker up here normal place but this place is not I think it was some code they want to put a switch on the side now so anyone can just turn your power off when you want and invade you uh, you move all these things down you put your generator switch breaker up here which would be a double 30 like this is or if you have a larger generator it would be a double 50 so you turn all your shit off, you turn the stuff on the side off, you start your generator, plug it in, throw that, put the stuff you want done I think that's all it is, just that breaker for the transfer switch is just power that runs to that box so that's feeding the panel from there to there instead of your thing going to the nuclear plant that leaks into the Biscayne Bay Whatever the hell. They don't talk about that though. No, no, no. In Florida, environmental. Okay. So that sucks. So spaghetti mess cord is the way to go. This thing's filthy. These tires needs a wash. Everything. This window tent. I don't care about the car stuff anymore. I'm really tired of this place. And uh, we're kind of giving up on things. But you know, you, you got to do it somehow. Somehow, someone. That has to be the uh, situation. So, that is that. That's the words of the day. That is that. I think jam up again? Yeah, it did. Oh, are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. So, I had a minute hand on a second hand that fell off. So what was going on over here today? Someone was rummaging around through all this shit. They literally just threw it around here because they're animals. Unbelievable, man. You see, the things I do, it just gets reversed in about a minute. That's another reason why I'm just done with this shit. I got to change a window over there from when they sparked it like four years ago. And this shit, the bumper got all messed up over here. And then they cracked it on this side. This bumper shot, you never find one. They got a big crack over here because they ran into some shit. They ran into stuff over there. The other vehicle, they ran into like everything. On all four corners have been tagged. The tires, it is done. I don't know. That's that. I'm so done with living here. I'm so done with living with people I'm related to. So done with everything. So that's my video. Ah, done. You know, I fix stuff and then I have no problem with the repair, but if someone else will get it, they'll, it'll be like destroyed in like 15 seconds. I don't know, is it, is it just a bad repair or the people are just animals, you know? That's like when I worked at the shop for many, many years ago, like 10 years ago now, a decade. Um, there was, like these cars, they would have problems that no one else had just because the owner was animals and they would like freaking rip the door off and break the seat and you would just kind of like peer out like... As they're picking up the cars, you can see who kind of owned it, like, who is that? We'd all be, like, peering at little holes and shit in, like, the walls. And they're like, that's why the car was messed up. Look at that guy. Look at that lady. So that kind of deal. All right, done. Don't be an animal. Found it. And then, like, they, I fixed this thing, and they dumped it off the truck, like, two months ago. It leaks fuel now. They screwed up the new gas cap I bought. You know, everything that's... 
I don't get it, man. I don't know how someone can seriously destroy something so fast, but... It's the same, like... If someone uses your vehicle, like I used to bring vehicles to the shop. And I don't know what they were doing with my floor mats, but like... It's literally like they went in a car, and they went like... Like that, and the floor mat's like all fucked up, and you look at the odometer, and the thing has like three miles on it. I mean, floor mat, the thing's just like filthy. Three miles, and you got all that shit on the carpet, you fucked up all the floor mats, and you drove for three miles. It used to happen so much, and then, that's why I got mad. And, um, about the expensive things, and I was dissatisfied. And that's my story of why I learned how to do stuff myself, and that was my big motivator says, I can do this, you know, I'm just going to try, try, try. How bad can I screw it up? Because I was done with dealing with animals. I would just live with them and I'm related to them. And I guess I learned how to fix stuff because they were always breaking shit on me. So I had to learn how to fix it or else I would just have broken stuff because no one else would fix it. So, and then I was really good at fixing it because they would break it three times. You know, they would break it again and again and again. Like my truck was hit and then it was hit again. Then it was hit again. Sometimes when it was hit, it was people around here who crashed into it. Did I ever get any compensation? Yeah, zero. Zero compensation for the uh, work done. So I had to fix it again with my own money. Because they wrecked it. And bring that up. Bullshit. I found that piece, by the way, it's somewhere back here. Look at it, no room in here. I was freaking out the other night. Um, I was trying to look for how to EGR valve over there. My EGR valve is bad in the white truck. The diaphragm's, uh has a pinhole on it, so it won't hold vacuum anymore. It's not throwing a code, but I think that's why it was stumbling so bad. Had a lot of carbon on it. Cleaned it out. It runs like way better. I might just delete it. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking for an EGR valve going, why do I even have to live like this for that I have to move everything just to get something? And not just me, everyone has to do this. Going down the road. This effed up way of living. But, you know, I don't know, I'm done. I think I'm at the point where, um, it's really better just for me to, like, live in a van or something than actually live here. Do Adam, Adam the Woo style. Live in a van, travel around the country. They survived, so that proves anyone can. All right, let's go look for this thing now. Let's just say F it. Look at this mess. So that's my rant, it's over. A lot of times people think like uh, there's problems and they blame other people for the problems. I'm not really like that. Because a lot of people who blame things on other people, when it, the reason behind everything is really them. But they're too stupid to see it. And me including, sometimes I get mad about stuff. But really, I know that, you know, if I didn't do shit, going back, like way, way back when, if I didn't do stuff and did things differently, possibly things would have been different. But yeah, I learned a lot of things. I met some people most of everyone's dead now but that's cool or i don't talk to them which is fine but i really don't care to talk to them anyway and uh, i'm happy with it and i'm better learning some something than nothing where'd that thing go we found it it's like a roach bam all right oh we dropped it again all right all right we got our second hand back all over that. Was that really important in life? No, but you know what the life lesson is about this? This is what most people are doing right now in the world. They're doing non-important things. Maybe you that just turned this video off by now. You're doing non-important things. You're more consumed about what's on for sale on Amazon. Who's selling what on Craigslist. Look at this one posting this on social media. Oh, what's the news now? Let's check the news. What's the president doing? Who's this doing? You're concentrating on all this stupid shit. They're feeding you. And you're concentrating on something as small in the realm of things as that second hand. It's really minuscule. You should be concentrating 
on other things than yourself. But who am I to say? What do I know? Right? What do I know? You get those people who say that all the time. They know everything, right? They know everything. You know nothing. They argue and they write these long essays, either via email, like on Craigslist, or when you're just trying to get rid of something for like $10, they got to haggle you. Um, make it so difficult. Because they never did it themselves. That's why they never did it themselves. So they, they don't understand. Like the people on YouTube have no videos. But they never did anything. They never even made a video. But they know everything. It will, it will continue. But those people will fail in life when there's a disaster. Remember that.